Hi everyone, my name is Tony from SUS.com. Today I'm very excited to show you one of the new products that we have just released. This is called the Viewer Tab HD for Thermal Vision. So it integrates seamlessly the FlareView Pro camera on drones. The HD stands for HD Digital Viewer Downlink. Um, so if you have followed us, uh, we are the source for professional integration of thermal vision cameras on drones like Phantom, Matrice, Inspires, um, Mavic, and other drones. So our philosophy is to make our products as easy to use, as simple to install as possible. Um, so you can have all your attention on your actual works like search and rescue, inspection, etc. rather than paying attention on the technicality of the system. That way you can increase your efficiency and then ultimately the uh, return on investment. Take for example uh, one of the previously released products uh, that I have in my hands here called the Viewer Touch System. Uh, it's also a system that integrates the Flavio Pros on these drones, on other drones, uh, seamlessly. Um, it has its own battery, so you can see this runs uh, even without a drone, and you can handhold it. Um, it has a very intuitive touchscreen controller that allows you to control all the panning, tilting, and you know, change the settings of the ViewPro camera itself. So, one of the things that we have tried to uh, best to improve upon is the quality of the video download system. So, uh, the viewer touch system does rely on the analog 5.8 GHz system. So, for some critical real-time work, having steady digital video system offers extra benefits so you can see things clearer and uh, much more easily so uh, that's why we thought about operating from analog to HD digital system uh, but going from analog to HD digital system does involve with, you know, overcoming a lot of challenges for example the HD system out there are normally physically large and they are power consuming, also they heavy. So we're so happy that finally the viewer tab HD has become a reality because it preserves most of the features of the viewer touch system. You know, it's still lightweight enough, it's still small enough, and it's still consume low enough energy that can fit on Phantom 4 uh, and Inspires and Vika drones. And you know you can also change from drone to another easily or handhold it uh, as before. And the viewer tab HD also you know inherits all other features of the viewer touch system because it's, it still runs on its own. Uh, it runs about 45 minutes on these two batteries inside, and you can see the design is also clean, virtually no wire exposed. More than that, you know, we have the tablet is right here to view the thermal vision. Uh, we've made an app so that it's not just a thermal vision viewing app, it's also a controlled app as well. As you can see here, I can you know, control it, uh, panning and tilting the camera. Um, all right. And then you can do color palettes, um, like you do it with the viewer touch system, uh, digital zoom, and back to normal. Uh, for recording, you just slide this to the right uh, and back, it will stop it. And uh, for pictures, you would do the same thing. Uh, you can have a normal setup like this where you have a tablet, and this is the basic configuration that we, uh, uh, we offer. You have a tablet or a phone for viewing a DJI camera, and the other tablet is for viewing and controlling the thermal vision camera. Or you can have an upgraded, you know, system where you have a more powerful tablet. You can have a split screen and have two apps running simultaneously. One is the DJI Go app on the bottom as usual, and the other one is the Viewer HD app. For viewing and controlling the thermal vision camera. Uh, interestingly, you can have a setup 
where you have two people offering the drone and the thermal vision where you know you can uh, easily have a second tablet like this and you can uh, control and viewing you know, the thermal vision is for a camera camera operator for example that one is for if you have a normal setup is for the pilot so with this we're gonna do a few tests of the system to demo further the abilities of it the first test will be to demo the running time of the system so you can see it's about 45 minutes of run time and other tests we're gonna head outside and do some rings test of the uh, the system to see how far away we can fly and still have the you know actually very good uh, video feed on the tablet okay so here is the little time lapse of a live system the timer shows the elapsed time since the beginning we had to constantly move the camera to show the on status otherwise it would just appear as a stationary picture and you wouldn't believe it's on continuously. And you can see there, it lasts about 45 minutes. Also now we're gonna head outside and do some uh, quick rain test of the system. So as you can see, the journey of almost 700 meters away Throughout the journey, all the signals, DJI, the thermal signal, are perfect. Uh, so uh, nothing uh, happening back and forth. Uh, the only thing that you see, like, uh, it looks like some kind of delaying there, is, is not delaying, actually, it's just the resetting of the Flivio Pro camera itself. Uh, normally, it does FFC, so when, whenever it does that. Um, automatically, it will slow down the video just a split second. So it's not the, anything to do with the, 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 the video downloading system itself. Okay, so it's night time right now. You can see everything is dark. The DJI camera here doesn't pick up anything except the light over there. But the, uh, the thermal camera picks up signal normally. So we're gonna change the color palette and see what's the best. And we're gonna look for Eric, who's hiding behind the trees over there. And this is the Inspire. Okay, so right now, definitely somebody's walking. Woo. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, just please leave below. And please do subscribe to our channel for more updates. Like in the next uh, few weeks, we're going to do on Inspire 2, Matrice, and other drones, for example. And, um, you know, thank you again, and Happy New Year to everyone.